The deepening food crisis that spares not even the so-called food baskets has thrust the country into a never-ending debate. Should Kenya embrace genetically modified foods, this is still a gray area among professionals in the field. While some may be completely safe, can also, under some circumstances, cause allergies, toxicity. You may take it today and you feel okay, and tomorrow it may be too late. Albeit reluctantly, Public Health Minister Beth Mugo admitted that the government may have rushed into signing into law the Bell Safety Act of 2009 that now allows for the importation of GMOs, but was categorical that no genetically modified maize had been cleared for importation. Any person intending to export, import or transist a product derived from genetically modified organisms whose safety has been established must seek approval for importation and subsequently apply for an importation permit from my minister. Millers seem to have complied with this directive not to import any GMOs, but with a stern warning. Uh, yes, the meeting we had with the Prime Minister, it was agreed that uh, if we don't source enough non-GMO maize, then of course we will have no alternate but to import GMO maize. A warning that could serve as a pointer to a possible solution to food insecurity, that is, fully exploiting the conventional ways of food production. But even as the debate about GMOs continues, the consumer is caught in the middle with not much of a choice on what they can consume. The Bell Safety Act provides for mandatory labeling of these foods to enable consumers make informed choices. Identification of consign consignments containing GMO shall be labelled in accordance with the provisions of the law. Science is yet to give conclusive answers raised about the safety of genetically modified foods. Sheila Sendeo, Citizen Live at 9.